Hi everybody, welcome to PI land. Probably for your indicators you want to make custom arrows to show up or down and place them wherever you like on your screen around your numbers. In this video I'd like to share with you how to build up and down arrows using measure. Let's do it. For this video I'm going to use an example that we have built up in another video that explains how to compare two time periods. Basically we have dimension of year and relative year so that we can choose any two years and see percentage change of the oil production between the selected two years. Our goal will be when the percentage change is a positive number then I will have an arrow showing up and when it is a negative number an arrow showing down. And then we have also the colors on the arrows. So if we have a quick look, basically I have my statistics as a fact table. And then I have dimension of year and relative year. Dimension of year with active relationship and dimension of relative year with inactive relationship. And then I have a dimension of country and also other dimensions that we won't use in this video. I highly recommend you watch also my other video where I explain how to compare two time periods. Okay, in this video we are just going to use an example and bring only our indicator and then place arrows next to it. Now let's bring our dimension of year, make it slicer, drop down, and also single select. Let's copy this. This time I'm going to, instead of year, I'm going to bring relative year, right? I take out year and let's call this relative year. Basically, we want to choose two years and get the percentage change of the oil production, right? Let's say, for example, between 1972 and 1994. And I have a measure which is percentage change of the oil production. As I said, I have explained this measure in another video where we study how to compare two time periods, right? Go watch that video. It's very helpful and useful as well. So in this video, we are just going to use this measure. Basically, the measure is getting as variable oil production for the current period and also the oil production for the period of the relative year, right? And we use use relationship to call the relationship that is inactive. And then we calculate the percentage change. So I'm going to bring this measure here without any dimension. I just want for all of the countries. I put it here and then I make it as card. I see that the number is 29%, which is a positive number. I want now an arrow showing upward, right? If it was negative number, I would like an arrow showing downward. For having arrows, I need to use unicar, which is a function. When we give a number, it gives us a character, right? For having two arrows, I need to have two measures. One of the measure as up arrow and the other one as down arrow. Now it's positive. So let's start with creating measure, which is up arrow. New measure. I'm going to call this, let's start with arrow. arrow up percentage change and I want this one to be shown only when our measure is positive right if my measure is not positive I don't want this error to be shown so for that reason I need to put an if a logic to check if my measure which is percentage change of the oil production if it's positive right so if it's positive bigger than zero I want up arrow. Up arrow, there is a function which is unicar. Basically, this function returns the character of the number that you are going to give. And these numbers are available in Microsoft documentation. For up arrow, we can use 9650. So if it's bigger than zero, I'm going to use this arrow. But if it's not bigger than zero, my percentage change, then I won't show nothing close parentheses and hit enter. Now if I bring this next to my number and make a card, it's going to show up arrow because my number is positive, right? I can make this just a dot to not show the label and then also I can change the color to white to not see that at all. 
but let's say if it was negative now I want to have another arrow when my number is negative so let's create another measure basically I'm going to copy this measure control C escape new measure I'm going to call it arrow down this time if the percentage change is bigger than zero I want it to be empty because in any case I'm going to place both of the arrows on my screen and one of them is not going to be shown even if the card is on the screen it's not going to be shown because of the percentage change right so if it's bigger than zero show nothing the card is going to be empty but if not then show down arrow and down arrow is 9660 basically that's all now I have my second arrow I'm going to copy this control C control V and place it here but this time I'm going to put down arrow right now it's empty because the percentage change is positive if my percentage change was negative then this arrow would disappear and the other one would show right if we take like your 2000, let's say 8, let's compare 2009 to 2008. Now I have negative numbers, so my down arrow is showing and the other one is empty. If we go further, imagine we want to also change the color of this. Basically, when it's down arrow, I want this to be red, right? And also maybe the number. So let's click here and go here, the color. And this in the color, I'm going to change the color rule according to not arrow percentage change, but the measure itself, right? Because arrow down percentage change is not really a number. I need to look at the percentage change. And if that number is bigger than zero and smaller than, you can put a very big number, right? Then I want this to be green. I'm going to add another rule. This time I'm going to say minus in absolute terms. Let's put just a big number and smaller than zero. This time I'm going to choose something like this red. Another rule if it's blank, sometimes probably like your function doesn't work or something like that. Let's put if it's blank, then show no color right let's show white okay now it's red because it's negative actually this arrow is concerned when it's negative it's always going to be down so red so we didn't need to put the rule for green one as is however this way it's clear and simple and can put the same on both sides Percent to change of your production if the value is bigger than zero exactly the same numbers that we had put for the other one or less than 10,000 then I would like just to be more colors something like green that we had taken and the new rule if it was this time from negative number something big in absolute terms and zero then I would like something around here the red like this red and then another rule if it's blank i want nothing right it's just repeating the same rule here so that to be easy you just apply the same thing that you have written here it's going to be applied for both of them and actually you can do that on this number as well right i'm going to make it rule if it's bigger than zero and smaller than let's say big number you better getting the same color code that we have put for the other ones but for the time being i'm just going to put the green here but it's more professional when you get the same color that you have the other side and then from negative number to zero i want this to be red okay I think that's enough for this one so we have arrow down with a negative number and if I compare it with something old then I have 
requests a number. This is very useful. Sometimes you have a very few important key indicators that you cannot use built-in functionalities and you want to be able to place errors or even other characters in different places around your indicators. This will help you customize your report much better. So don't hesitate to go farther and use Unicare function for other characters as well. Okay. I think with this we reached our goal. Yep, that's all I have for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and don't hesitate to put comments. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel for the coming videos. Until then, good luck. See you.